love sweets and I love looking for the old-fashioned sweets that I had when I was young. Um, it was my husband's concept, his idea, but it's actually me who loves the sweets. We've expanded our range. Uh, I started here with about 140 jars and now we've got about 225 jars to choose from. Um, as I said, a lot of them are handmade and, and direct from the manufacturers and some come through a, a distributor. been open here nearly four months now but still people come in and they say oh didn't know you were here but now we know you're here we, you know we'll come back so it's spreading by word of mouth we have advertised um, a little as well but it's mostly word of mouth and you know the customer base is building up nicely most retailers tend to suffer a little in the early months of the year January February time we've been steady in, in both shops but quieter but now it's building up um, I'll, I'll be able to say more about that when we've done a whole year's trading people said you're mad um, but we obviously did lots and lots of homework first before we decided to open a shop it's one of those things that in a recession when people don't have much money, the first things to go are big items like um, people don't buy new clothes or furniture or a new car. But we reasoned that people would always have a couple of pounds in their pocket to spend on sweets and people need a treat in a recession. The older people get more excited by the idea of having you know, the sweets in the jars and um, being able to chew sweets like they did when they were young and the little ones just love all the sort of pick and mix and bright colours and things. But we do have all ages, all ages come in the shop and all types of people as well. I can usually tell what type of sweets they're going for. Um, and it's mostly, I always say that people, everyone who comes in here is 10 because people are transported back to when they were about that age. And people firstly go for the sweets that they had when they were young, um, whatever age they are. Um, but then they get a bit more adventurous and try different things, or I suggest different things. I give them things to try if they like a particular flavour then I say, well, you might like these, it, it's similar but not quite the same, and, and they try them and, and they might buy something different next time. Everyone who comes in is happy and smiling, um, you know, because they want sweets. And I love meeting the people. Yes, we do have regulars, some who come in every single day, some who come in once a week, um, and those people do tend to stick to the same thing. I have to be sort of quite careful not to automatically go to the sweets that they usually have. The best seller is um, rhubarb and custard, um, strawberry bonbons and the um, Barrett milk gums, the milk bottles. They're probably the most popular and uh, toffee crumble. When people ask me to recommend something, as you can imagine with all these jars, it's quite difficult. Um, I like the licorice sweets and um, I like the fruit ones as well. But I would say probably black and white mints are my favourite. Licorice and mint combination.